Now don't you drink my tea. Hello there, it's Firebelly Mama, and I'm looking forward to reading one of my kids' favorite books with you, Gigantosaurus by Johnny Duddle. Gigantosaurus by Johnny Duddle. Many million years ago, beyond the path of the lava flow, on the edge of the jungle where the herbivores graze, four little dinosaurs spent their days playing in the Cretaceous sun, following tracks and having fun. The dinosaur mom said, beware my child of the gigantosaurus so fierce and wild. With teeth as long as you are tall, he'd soon make a snack of one so small. His feet go stomp, his jaws go crunch. In the blink of an eye, you'd be his lunch. Bonehead Tiny, Finn and Bill went off to play up on the hill. The gigantosaurus was on their minds till Bonehead said, I think you'll find we need a lookout and I'm the best. I'll get a good view from this termite nest. But it was only a minute before Bonehead cried, It's the gigantosaurus, quick, run and hide. Thud, 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 they ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch. No fierce monster had smelled his lunch. It's just Triceratops, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. But you passed my emergency warning trial. Now I'll keep watch from that rock a while. But a little while later, Bonehead cried, The Gigantosaurus, quick, run and hide. Boom, boom, boom. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no hungry beast after snacks to munch. It's old Diplodocus, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. But danger lurks as you need to learn. I'll look out from that enormous fern. It didn't take long till they heard a shout. Gigantosaurus, you better watch out. Thump, thump, thump. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no carnivore with a whiff of lunch. It's Stegosaurus, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. But at least you've passed my final test. Now I'll take a nap in that comfy nest. Then, seconds later, the cry began, Gigantosaurus, run as fast as you can! But though his friends heard what Bonehead cried, by now they knew that Bonehead lied. That's it, said Bill. <clears throat> we're off to explore, and we're not going to play with you anymore. <clears throat> with everyone gone, Bonehead was alone. He began to wish he was back home because an awful noise was coming near, and now there was good reason for fear. The feet went stomp. <clears throat> the jaws went crunch. And Gigantosaurus had his lunch. Bonehead's friends came running back after they heard the tree go crack. Poor old Bone had it such a shame. What a sad end to his naughty game. Even though he tripped and lied, at least he taught us how to hide. Burp. But then they heard a muffled cry from the scraps of nest that lay nearby. I'm here, it's me, I survived. I'm sorry that I tripped and lied. But this time, honestly, it's true. There's a pteranodon after you. And though Bone had thought they'd run in fright, his friends just shrugged and said, yeah, right. Gigantosaurus. This scary dinosaur was made up for this book. There was a dinosaur a lot like it, though, called Giganotosaurus. It is the largest known of the theropods, meat eaters that stood on two legs bigger even than Tyrannosaurus rex. Gigantosaurus, without that extra O, was a name given to some scattered dinosaur bones 
found by early paleontologists in England and Africa. But it was all such a muddle, the name hasn't been used since, until now. Gigantosaurus by Johnny Duddle. We hope you enjoyed it. See you for the next book.